Good morning, everyone. Did my thing just go off? It sure is. Okay, hold on. All right. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so today, why do I always laugh when I say that? Can I not laugh for once? All right. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Today, uh, I am starting the filming locations of the 2003 movie Monster. I actually did this uh, video five years ago. I wasn't very prepared for that video, so I didn't get to as many locations as I wanted to. I don't even remember if I even watched the movie back then, to be honest with you. I just, I think I just, honestly, I don't remember if I even watched the movie. I think I just watched clips on YouTube, but I didn't watch the, the movie entirely, and I didn't take the time to really look at the movie because by looking closely and pausing at the right moments you can see street signs you can see building numbers i mean there's so much more in there um and it's so funny because one of the locations i i thought for sure that i was so cool because just by looking at the movie i knew a lot of the locations without looking them up but i swear that i did something awesome by finding the the storage unit location and you can actually see the name of it in the clip. I didn't even notice that before, but I knew exactly where that was without even looking it up or pausing it or whatever. But anyways, so this time I have watched the movie. I have paused almost every scene and tried to find as many locations as I could this time. Um, yeah, and I'm just so happy <laughs> that this time I'm going to have so much more to show you guys. I have a very long day ahead of me, so um, I don't know, I'm just hoping everything goes well. I think that's it. I'm really excited for for these locations since I couldn't find so many of them before, and it'll be cool to see them for the first time and to show you guys. So let's get started. <laughs> overpass <laughs> sorry I'm laughing because I was just sitting up there and it was the scariest thing trying to come back down so I don't know how that video is gonna look my knees she's right there she was helping me with it she was recording me as I was sitting up there and I was terrified I was like shaking when I was in there anyways so this is the famous overpass that if you guys remember five years ago when I made the monster video this was the last location I came to sorry it is so loud but um so this was the last location that I came to five years ago and I wasn't able to get here because all this was under construction if you go back to my video you can actually see what this looked like back then but like I said before I recognized this location the minute I saw it in the movie and that's how I found it five years ago so. This road that goes out to the highway right here, which is how I knew about this location. Anyways, <laughs> it's hard. I don't want to get back up there because it's really scary coming back down. And then I just noticed too that she wasn't sitting all the way up there where I was sitting. about here and the camera angle I believe was up here so yeah see this is not fun right here you see what I'm doing Whew. 
So when she's sitting up here, you can actually see that road right there where the cars are going through. You'll notice that road. It's too bad that all this is here now because unfortunately, it did not look anything like this back then. But yeah, this is about, let me see. I'll try to get up again. Hold on. All right, hold on. I'll go up a little bit. So like about there where you can see the road. opening scene the camera angle is really close and she's sitting down and she's got like it's either water I think it's water because it was raining and she was trying to stay down here because she wanted to stay away from the rain but they do a close-up shot of her face as water is dripping down and she's sitting like right here when she's like you know. there was also another scene that shot here as well um, towards the end of the movie but I just think that they grabbed the shot from the beginning of the movie and then placed it again at the end so you'll get another shot of this towards the end of the movie so check it out this is Selby's house this location has been unknown for so long so I want to thank Artie. Artie if you're watching this video if you do get a chance to see this video thank you so much for helping me find this house because it's been so hard to find. I was actually looking in the wrong areas. I actually tried looking for the other house too in the movie and I cannot find it so I'm just thankful that at least we have one of the houses now but this is Selby's house. It has changed a little bit. I've done some renovations I was just talking to the neighbor across the street and the neighbor that lives right next door. And she was telling me how, you know, they changed the door. The door used to be over to the right. Now it's over to the left. Um, the roof has changed. It's gotten a new roof and a couple other things. But besides that, it looks pretty much, oh, actually the tree that was right here is gone. And I don't know what else, but I think that's like the main thing. So I'll, let me, uh, Go over all the scenes and show you guys this is so cool i can't believe finally the house is found <laughs> so here at the house you have several scenes you have at least four scenes that filmed here the first one is when um selby invites lee to stay with her and she sneaks her out in the morning they come out from this side right here and there was a tree right here and as selby is talking to her and the camera is has a close up of her. You can see the house clear as day. And as Lee is talking, you can see this side of the road. Oh, another thing that has changed is the mailbox. The mailbox was like a, kind of like a um, tan color. And at some point she even grabs it and pulls it down. She opens it and then close it, closes it back. But yeah, I guess you can notice this house too. Um, the neighbor over here says you can see her house at some point. And that's probably in one of the other scenes um, but yeah and the first scene is kind of kind of right here where you can see the house behind her and the Sun is um, making it a little hard to see clearly how it looks like but there's the house guys another scene is when Selby comes back and she's trying to sneak him back in the house and she goes through the side entrance, but the camera is actually on this side instead of where I'm standing and I'm not gonna you know, go on their yard, but this looks the same. The, dr the driveway right there looks the same or the sidewalk right there looks the same. But yeah, there was a tree right here. And then I'm trying to remember what other scene was out here. Well, there's a scene at night when Lee wants to talk to Selby and so she's sitting on the grass and I think maybe she might have been sitting over here and then they go to talk and they're behind like a, or next to a car or behind a car and they talk for a little bit. So that might have been shot out here. And then the last scene I think was shot inside of the house. And there's a couple scenes that actually did film inside. Um, one thing that she told me that I didn't know, the neighbor here told me that 
the interior scenes of the motel actually shot inside of this house, which is insane. But um, they're telling me that the house went through a renovation inside as well. And so it doesn't look the same as it did in the movie. And then like I was saying before, the, house, or the door was on this side instead of over here. Also, the windows have changed. The windows don't look the same like that anymore. And they just painted the house too, to this green color. Um, I believe it was blue in the movie. Okay, so now I'm at the self storage location. Um, and that's exactly the name in the movie. They didn't change the name. This is the location I was telling you guys about that I thought I was so cool that I found it. <laughs> you can clearly see the name in the movie, but um, what was I gonna say? So the first time I came, I didn't really go through too much of the scenes. I went through a couple of things that have changed, but I'm gonna make sure to mention a few more things. Um, again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in here like last time. I, I kind of waited around a little bit to see if somebody would come out, but no one ever did. But let me just go over the scene. So the scene is right after she meets Selby at the bar and she's in there already. Well, no, she comes, she comes in and sneaks in through the gate and then you see her sitting down in front of her storage unit and then Tom comes up and starts talking to her. And that's the whole scene. So this might be hard because of the sun is really bright. It's just coming down. I'm gonna step over. But you kind of see a white shot after she sneaks in through the gate. And you'll notice a speed sign over here that says five miles an hour instead of the one that's over here. You can clearly see the um, air conditioning unit on that building and this building is here. There was a light post right here that I don't know if that was added for the movie or if it was ever there. And then the next scene you see is her inside. And I believe that that scene filmed not here, but the one over on that side, which is a shame. I've always wanted to get in there. So this is when she first walks in. She walks in through the gate and you'll see her sneaking in. Back then it used to be different a different gate it was like a metal gate and it was slightly open so she snuck in right in like right through here where you can see the sign I think the sign is different now yeah it was a different sign back then but yeah she kind of sneaks in right through the middle and then that scene filmed like I said over here um, sorry about the Sun but yeah and it was a really quick shot So it looks like I was wrong about right. which aisle it was. It looks like it was the one that the right was right up front because you stuff. can see the street from there. You go to me when you get so it. it was the one that you were able to see. Want some sandwich? Okay, so fair warning to anybody ever visiting the self-storage unit here for the movie Monster. Ask permission to the motel first because they saw me taking pictures. I saw this guy with a badge on and or a name tag on i saw him looking at me a few times and he was on his phone so i just figured he was just talking on the phone but he was actually talking to i think the manager from the motel and they were going to call the cops on me he said so i'm glad that i went over and said something because what i i didn't go i didn't go ask permission but i was asking some guy who was walking his dog if the if he knew if there was anyone who i could speak to about getting inside and then the other guy came up to me and he's like, yeah, what are you doing? And so I told him what I was doing. And then he's like, I'm so glad you said something because yeah, they were gonna call the cops on you. I'm like, oh my goodness. So just fair warning. <laughs> so now I'm at Semron Skateway and they actually filmed two scenes here, one inside and one outside. The very first scene is when Selby and Lee come on kind of like a first date. And this is the place they go to. And then the second scene is later on, Selby comes back and she's waiting on Lee and she never shows up. So she gets stood up and she's standing right here. Okay, so the scene opens up right here and it kind of pans over from the left to the right, slowly like that. And then they show Selby and she spots Lee over by this, what's supposed to be an entrance over there. 
and the lockers are the same as I can see. Another thing I'm noticing, hey, how are you? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, another thing I'm noticing that's the same is the trash bins here. They're exactly the same as they were back then. So freaking cool. Um, a few differences I'm seeing right now is that these right here, these lines were painted pink back then. That's like the only difference that I kind of see off the top of my head. But yeah, so the scene opens up right here and the camera kind of pans over from the right to the left. And then these are the tables. I don't, they're not the exact same tables as in the movie, but this is where they would have been sitting. Over there is where Lee comes in from. She comes in from those doors. And as you can see, here's the rink, which the place looks pretty much the same from back then when it filmed. So cool. Here's the door. I believe on this side it said no entry. Over here it said no food, drinks on this side. And the lockers were actually blue back then. And you can actually see this door over to the right, but this is where she came in from. And then, like I was saying before, that's where they were sitting on that side. And um, they skated a few times. I believe the first time you see it, when they start skating, you can notice the DJ booth. I believe that's what that is right there. And they start off this way and they go around. I'm trying to see if everything's the same. Oh yeah, you can actually see those palm trees in the shot. And I think also the flag was there. Let me see this side over here, what's over here. Um, I don't know if that was in a shot, I have to look. But for sure, those palm trees were in the shot. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Okay. And I'm gonna go over to the table area and show you which table they were at. Okay, so this is the side where the tables are at. And it's probably off just slightly, but I think the table would have been right where this one is. Like I said, there were different tables, different chairs, but you can see this door in the background as well as the lockers. Um, it's just like right about there. So I think this is where about where they were sitting or so. Keep in mind all of this up here because you can actually see that. I'm noticing that when they're skating at some point, you can see what these mirrors and these two vents on each side when they're like couple skating and one's facing forward and one's facing backwards and they're going this way, you can notice this stuff right here. And like I was saying before, you also notice that background here too, as well as the DJ booth that's right here. Awesome. Okay, so this is about the right angle that you see Selby. She would have been standing right here when she was waiting on Lee to show up and she never did. So poor Selby got stood up. So I'm gonna go stand in the same spot as her so you can see where she was. So this is right about the spot she was So right behind me, these three signs are visible when she's hitchhiking, I believe for the third time. You'll, they'll show the street first and it's very blurry. I think it was shot like that on purpose. But when they're showing you the street, you'll notice these three signs. I was able to read um, these two right here, even though it was so blurry, but you can make out the Miami um, the only thing that's a little different that doesn't say three-fourth mile, so that is different. 
but the international airport's on there and this little one is there too. So I'm gonna turn the camera around to the other direction so you can see. The only thing that does look different is the side of the road that she's standing on. It doesn't look anything like this. Now, I'm not claiming that this is the right location. I just think that this is it because those three signs match and I don't know where else it is. But what I can tell from the movie is that it looks like OBT, which is Orange Blossom Trail, which is this road right here. So that's what I think. I'm not entirely sure though on that, okay? Like I said, I'm not entirely sure that this is it, but I'm also seeing that down there, there's another set of signs that match exactly. You know what? I think it might have been shot down there instead. I'm gonna walk over there because you also kind of see like a overpass um, in the background of that shot so I'm gonna walk down further to see if it's back there because I think they match I'm gonna start recording so these signs up here I think match a little bit more because you'll see signs in the front and then in the back in the background you see another set of signs and these also match there are three one says the miami international and then the smaller one over there and so she might have been standing around here somewhere and then you can also see these in the background right here so again i'm not entirely sure that that is exactly where they film but from living in florida most of my life when I first saw that scene, I recognized immediately that that street is OBT, so, eh, we shall see. <laughs> so this right here is an establishing shot. You can actually see, the, as the car is moving, you can see this building on the right, and this sign used to be differently and it would say food mart. You can also see the auto zone in the background in that shot. location that I always knew about but I didn't want to come because it's no longer here. It's the motel that they use as exterior shots for the movie. Where that sign is right there, that's where the motel entrance was and the scene opens up across the street over there and they show the motel from across the street. But this is a really busy street so I don't really feel like crossing the street and show you guys but I'll just show you what it looks like, sorry. I'll just show you um, what it looks like once they go into the entrance of the motel and show you what it looks like now. But yeah, it's a shame. I, I wish I would have came here. I don't know when they closed this whole place up, so I'm not really sure. It used to be called Little Diamond Motel and there was a sign for it right out here. And all of this has changed, by the way. Now this is a whole shopping center and there's Dunkin' Donuts over here, but the motel would have been right back there. Um, it's crazy because it looks so different, but in that scene, it opens up across the street um, and then it's when the car walk comes in. And I think it would have been like right here and the car comes in this way and then they show the motel which was back there. Wow, that's crazy. I actually used to come out here all the time because my hair salon is down the road from here. So when I was younger, I used to always drive by here. So that's crazy. I didn't realize this was the spot. But yeah, I guess the sign would have been out here somewhere. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. Wow, that's crazy. 
kind of do wish that I would have came to this location before because for the longest time, the sign was still there and all of this wasn't here. There was none of all these shops here. So I wish I would have came out a little sooner, but I just wanted to show you guys at least what it looks like now versus back then when they filmed. So that's it for them. So I'm not entirely sure that I found the right location. The parking lot matches, like this matches here, but the building doesn't necessarily match. It was like, there, were, there was like more tile on here. So I don't know that this is it, but it sure does match the spot. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Sort of, maybe. Uh, I don't know. You guys be the judge. But I've already been to one other location that I thought it was, and this is going to be the last one that I'm going to try. One thing I am noticing, and I think I might be in the right spot, is that building right there. I think that building is the same one. So I, I don't know, I might be in the right spot. Oh my God, did I actually find a location? I don't know. Everything else matches, so. Ooh, I hope I'm right. So welcome to downtown Orlando. I don't want to get ahead of myself on locations because behind me, right here, that is a filming location that I originally parked my car just now to see. But as I got out of the car and I was facing that way back there, I noticed that that's another filming location only because of a building that I was going crazy looking. And I never found that location back there. And, um, so I was going to give credit to the person that I found it. But I just, <laughs> if I would have just been patient, but anyways, I just noticed that it's all the way back there, but I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I'm gonna show you the first filming location that's right behind me. Okay, so at this building right here, this is when Lee decides that she's done prostituting and that she wants to find a real job. So she goes to a few interviews the first interview that you that you see it's inside of the building and that is an unknown unknown location but then once she leaves the interview she's seen in front of this building right here trying to grab her bike to go to her next interview okay so this is where she's seen grabbing her bike and trying to get on it so she can go off to the next location it's a little bit blurry, but if you pause the movie just right, you can actually see the 201 Magnolia. You can see this palm tree, you can see this pole, this building behind her. So all of this pretty much looks the same as it did back then. So this one, this one was an easy one to find because I paused it and I was able to see this. I feel like it was more right here because you actually see two poles. So I think the two poles you're seeing would be this one here and that one, the palm tree, two windows, and you can barely see the third one here. So maybe right about here or so, like right about there. And then that's when you can see the 201 and it's blurry. So kind of like where I am, because it was hard for me to see it. I had to really zoom in and then yes, see everything else in the background so yeah so I think it was more right here than it was when I was first showing you the spot so yeah so like right about here so this is another location that is really close by to the other downtown locations literally the 120 Magnolia one if you go up the road to that one you'll see this church and this is where you see her riding her bike after her second interview. All right, here in the corner of Orange Avenue and Robinson. This is after her second interview and she was yelling at the guy and she curses out Leslie. <laughs> Literally, she does. 
and a few things that have changed is there was a building right here that's gone I don't think that building was there and this is definitely not there but if you zoom in on that scene you can actually see Orange Avenue on there so that's how I was able to find it but yeah she's riding her bike right down this way towards the camera Now I'm at a different location, but it's literally five minutes away from the other location. Right here at 120, if you pause the movie again, you'll see the 120 in the shot. Um, I think there's even, oh yeah, there's a FedEx Kinko's right there. I think you can see that in the shot as well. But it's literally down the street from the other location. So you could just walk to this one, which is awesome. But this is when she goes on her third interview and she's seen walking down the street and you'll notice this building behind her. And this is when the cop shows up and pulls up right about here or so. I'll show you guys um, how it plays out in the movie. So I'm, trying to, I'm gonna try to break this down. The only thing that remains the same in this scene, like I was saying, is this building like the awning on that building is still the same, but it was red back then. I don't know why I'm shaking. I've been shaking for a while now. So sorry if my video is a little shaky. Okay, so yeah, so the 120, the awning looks the same. Maybe that building was a different color. I can't remember right now. This one right here, because it's a FedEx, a FedEx Kinko's, you can actually see it in the shot if you pause it just right. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. Um, so those two buildings are the same. They've added this building, they've added this building, they've added this here, this wasn't here before when they shot, but this here looks pretty much the same. There's a few things on the sidewalk that were different, like poles and stuff that are not here anymore. But when she is walking, you'll notice both of these curbs right here, this curb, this curb here. There was a building right here and there was like some kind of there was something right here and dirt. So like I was saying, this building is new. That wasn't there. And this building wasn't there. That building I don't think was there either. Um, so yeah, a lot has changed in downtown, but this is the area when she gets stopped by the cop. Okay, wait, so I'm wrong. I was looking at my screenshots again. That building was there. So my bad. So when the cop gets off and they show him, it, the camera pans over to the right and you can see this building back there. So my bad on that one. You do see that building. Another thing that I noticed while I was filming, like after I said everything, is that that pole right there was also in the shot. But now that I'm looking at the clips, that pole was closer to the other side and not where it is now. So it was placed in a different spot. Also this black one right there that you're looking at, I don't think that was there at all when they filmed. But either way, I just wanted to point that out that that one was there. I just don't think it was in that same spot. Okay, so after the cop stops and makes her get into the car, he brings her over to a parking garage. This location I could not find. I did notice a building, a particular building in the background, and I tried to find it, still couldn't find it. So I wanted to give a shout out to Matthew, who found this location, which is, that's the building I'm talking about right there. But what was crazy is that I parked right down the road, right there. So when I got out of the car and I looked over, I saw the building and I'm like, oh my gosh, I probably could have found the location, but. Either way, Matthew, kudos to you for finding this spot. But this is where the parking garage used to be. This open parking lot right here, that's where it used to be before. And that is the building that you can see in the background. <laughs> so cool. So in that scene, once she gets inside of the cop car and he drives her over to this location, it makes perfect sense because literally where I was, was over there. Okay, so the distance actually matches up for the first time in a movie. But anyways, as he's driving down the road and there's a close-up shot of her face, you can't see this building. So thank you, Matthew, you pointed that out as well. And then he drives her into the parking garage that is supposed to be right here. 
um, since the parking, hold on, I gotta grab my tripod. By the way, I finally got myself a tripod, guys. <laughs> um, so anyway, so this is where the parking garage used to be. And in the shot, there's supposed to be, hold on, let me set this up real quick. All right, so in the shot, there was a trash bin that they placed out here. I believe the trash bin was right here. One thing that you can see that was, that is still here, that was there back then, is this building right here. And even those like wires and stuff that are sticking out, you can see that in the shot, as well as this building. So that's how you can tell that you're in the right spot. The fact that that building is there is awesome because you can clearly see those wires right there. And like I said, that building. But um, I'm gonna try to line it up perfectly so that I can add in the clip and you guys can see the comparison. So I'm gonna go by this square here that this is right about where she came out and the trash bin would have been like right here or so. And the building in the background is shown as well as that other big building back there. But this is right about where she comes out. All right guys, so I'm currently at uh, fun spot! <laughs> um, when I first came to this location, it was kind of brief, and I missed, again, I missed so much stuff, so I decided to come back to this one as well because I want to make sure I get everything. And one thing that I was noticing when watching the movie this time is when she's over on this side over here, she walks right next to like she walks over and she's then all of a sudden at the um merry ground so it looks like they moved the merry ground i guess the merry ground would have been where i'm sitting now like on this area but now the merry ground oops sorry now the merry ground is towards the front of the park so i'm like i guess they moved it and i didn't even notice that before i did show you guys the merry ground but i didn't mention how it moved spots and I had no idea I had moved spots so it moved spots so that's one thing but everything else kind of looks the same oh actually the um, the ferris wheel looks different like the cards where you sit down they're not the same that they looked in the movie they were different colors they were red blue there's all kinds of colors so that's different too um, yeah that's different as well I don't know what else has changed, but the right behind me, this one, the commander, you can see that also in the movie. So that's really cool. <laughs> Aw, this is so cool. <laughs> so yeah, definitely these have changed because they were not all white like this in the movie. So it looks like it went through a renovation or maybe it's an entirely new ferris wheel i i have no idea i could go ask in there about things that have changed but it just depends how long who's ever here has been working and most of these most of these people here are kids like younger kids that are working here so they're not gonna know but how oh, cool i'm on the ferris wheel oh my god i haven't been on a ferris wheel in so long check this out oh you guys see that building right there that was from that movie that I did recently, um, Parenthood. You can see that building in one of the shots. So cool. Woohoo! This is awesome! You can see everything from here. Look at that. So fun! This scene where this filmed here, um, Selby starts getting frustrated with being at home all the time while Lee is out working and she wants to go out. And they get into this big fight over that whole thing. And then next, they're seeing here when Selby wants to come out and hang out with some friends. And this is where they come. In the very first scene, I think you see the Ferris wheel, which says Fun Spot. You can 
see that this one does, but like I was saying, I don't think that it's the same. I don't know. I just know that the ca the cars where you sit on are not the same, so I don't know whether it's the same Ferris wheel or not, but it does look a little different than it did in the movie, so. But yeah, so the scene kind of opens up showing the Ferris wheel, which like I was saying, it does say fun spot, but I don't think the letters are the same, so. Pretty sure it is a different Ferris wheel. And then they show the merry-go-round and some other ride, which I don't see that other ride anywhere. But then the next scene or the kind of next spot is right here. And you can see, what's her name? Lee buying some tickets. So they kind of show it like right here, like really close up. And then they kind of back up a little bit. And then the next, and the next scene is kind of like right over here. She walks, she's walking over with her tickets. She calls Selby, she's like, Selby, check it out. And you can see her walking this way and Selby standing like right about here. Cause you can see the exit sign right here. All of this matches right here. And then like I was saying before, at some point, you know, Selby walks away and goes with her friends to the commander. The commander's right there. So I think that's still in the same spot. And then Lee walks over to what seems like uh, the merry-go-round, which I guess would have been here back then. And you can see Fun Spot written in the background, but I think it was back, it was here instead of up here back then. And then like I was saying, now the merry-go-round is back there somewhere. So it is a little different, but all this area back here pretty much, all this back here looks exactly the same though. Is cool. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing about the Commander ride in the movie is that it looked a little different. The sign for the Commander wasn't there. It was actually a sign that was right here somewhere. And these have been installed after the movie. That wasn't there. It was just like the blue railing. And they would line up on this side, I think. Um, and then Lee stayed behind. And I noticed that when she looks over to see... Selby riding the commander, they're actually riding a different ride. They're riding a ride that's called the Spidex or Spidex, something like that. And that is not in, in this spot at all. I mean, I don't know if it was back then. I'm gonna go around the park and see if there's a Spidex ride, but I just noticed that. Another thing I'm noticing though, something different that I'm noticing on this side, is the flooring is different. The flooring wasn't like this. It looked more like checker, like squares or something. So that has changed here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, that's like one thing that has changed is the flooring. So when Selby comes back after riding some rides with her friends, she looks over and she can see Lee riding go-karts and you can actually see her coming around the corner this way right here and it looks exactly the same and when they show Selby she's by the bumper boats which are right here so it does make sense that she's standing by the railing right here and it would say bumper boat somewhere on this side now this is called something else it's called uh, oh there is a sign right there actually bumper boats bumper boats so I think she was like around here because you can see that and makes sense because she looks right over to see her riding the go-karts right there so this is where the merry-go-round is instead of being over there where I was it's actually here um, I don't know when it was moved but this is where it is now and I'm pretty sure that this is the exact same merry-go-round that was back there because it looks exactly the same um, but yeah it would be hard to match exactly the shots but that's the merry-go-round next location is where the crash scene happened um, a friend of mine that I work with told me that he used to live right across the street from where it happened so he was able to give me the street name which is Neptune Road and it's the road I'm on right now and I just drove by the location I just happened to drive by it and recognize it but unfortunately, um, you can't get in there. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that. This is where the crash scene happened. I can't seem to find anywhere to park, but right here where you see the house on the right, this is where the crash 
crash scene happened. Um, as you can see now, there's like, it's blocked. You used to be able to drive down that way and that's the house that you see in the background. Um, I've already driven down this road a few times, but I don't really feel comfortable recording at that house, especially since there's really not a way to get in there. So I'm sorry, that's all that you're gonna get for that location. Okay, so right behind me, this is the location for the bus stop towards the end of the movie when Lee brings Selby to the bus stop so she can go back home. And that is the building that you see her and Selby sitting right by the wall right there. So the scene opens up right here across the street and they show you the building and a bus drives by. All right, so unfortunately, this gate is now here, which wasn't here during filming. But after you see the building from across the street, you'll see Lee coming out of the building and she walks over and sits next to Selby, who's sitting right here. And let me tell you that this scene right here is absolutely amazing. What Charlize Theron did in this scene, I mean, got me choked up a few times, I have to admit. But yeah, this is where she sits right here and they're both talking and fortunately, you wouldn't be able to see exactly, but they would have been like right here. Um, a, a way that you can find this location, by the way, is when Selby gets on the bus and the bus would have been like right here and what's her name walks away. Lee walks away, you'll get a clear, view of this building behind her right here so as as um as lee is walking away you'll get a clear shot of this building and if you zoom if you zoom in and pause it just right you'll actually see the number 1036 so what i did is that i plugged in that number to my gps my google maps and three addresses came up and it's the amelia one but um, I had to go through all three and just kind of look at the areas, the surrounding areas, and then eventually I found it. But yeah, thanks to that number right there. So this, uh, this would be the angle that you see um, as Lee is walking away, and then the bus would have been right here. And then after the bus leaves, this is the angle that you see the bus right here which everything over here matches very, very, very perfectly. And then after Selby leaves and the bus takes off, Lee walks back this way and she kind of stops and starts crying. And by the way, there's a point where you can see both doors and these windows. And I think there, this was a window as well, but there's a, there's a scene or, or there's a moment in that scene where she's crying and I think she might have been standing right here and she's like sitting there crying and it's a close-up shot of her but I think this is probably where she was standing I'm gonna look again to double check but I think it was like right about here okay, so welcome to Daytona Beach this is only an establishing shot in the movie it's a very quick shot scene I feel like also filmed out here in Daytona Beach so I'm on the hunt for that scene so let's run so we can find this scene I'm just kidding I'm gonna walk Daytona Beach <laughs> all right guys so welcome back to the last resort bar um, if you saw my video from five years ago you know that I came to this location I talked to the owner he showed me documents from the actual court from back then and pictures from filming and all kinds of goodies but um i'm not sure whether i'll be able to talk to him today i just wanted to come back because the first time i came i didn't really go through all the scenes and so my goal today is to get through all the scenes this time sorry it's a little loud but yeah i want to get through all the scenes this time show you guys i think there was four scenes that filmed here, so I'm gonna go through them one by one. <laughs> Thank you. 
to do this quick because it's really loud out here, but this is the last resort bar, like I was saying, and this is an actual location, not only from the movie, but in real life. This is where Eileen was arrested, as you guys all know, and the very first scene is shot inside the bar, and that's when Lee brings Selby for some drinks. Second is right after her interview, and she's talking again with Selby, and then the third scene is shot also inside, I believe, and it's, um, I think Lee comes to talk to Tom, and then the very last scene is when she's arrested, and the last scene shot at the bar, in the back, and then here in the front. Okay, so there were at least two scenes that shot from right here across the street, and I believe both scenes were shot at night, and you get a really quick shot of the bar from here actually see the sign. The place looks pretty much the same, but you'll see the last resort bar sign right up front. Okay, so now I'm inside the bar and everything has pretty much changed since I was here last time. There's a lot of things on the pool table, as you can see. Last time you were able to actually see the pool table and I was just talking to one of the ladies that work here and she was trying to remember when they added parts to the bar because at some point the bar just went straight across but she said that by the time they filmed the movie this was already added on um, okay. here's some pictures of Charlize Theron which I believe I showed you guys last time sorry about the glare there she is there she is with Al uh, there she is again. There she is again. Oh, uh, sorry. You can kind of see it. And then I remember, oh, there she is again with the director. Oh, there's a bunch of pictures over here. There's more pictures here of her. Right there. Right there. Okay. And then she's up there as well. It's just kind of hard to see of them all. Also, remember last time they showed me where she signed? And I think, let me see, I don't know if it was up here. It was either here or on the other side where she signed her name. I believe it was the other side. So I'm not, I'm not seeing it. But I signed my name right about here somewhere. I don't know if you guys remember in my video but I signed it somewhere here. I don't think I'm gonna find it right now, but somewhere up there was my name. And then Charlize's name, I believe was on that side over there. Let me see if I can find it. It's in a big red circle. I remember that much. Um, let me see, let me see. I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, sorry. Maybe I can ask someone later but I'm gonna go ahead and go over all the scenes with you guys that was the first scene when the girls are standing in front of the bar I thought this was taken over there but it wasn't Al just told me it was right here where the background you can well here you can see the bar huh oh okay all right so in the background, you could see some lettering and stuff. And he said he saved it and it's right out here. Uh -huh. So when you look closely at that, at that scene, yeah, this I, is what was on the background. Yeah, you can it, tell because of this right here. Yeah, I saved that. That's awesome. Because that's in the movie. Yeah, you do see it. And I was wondering what that was. I kept looking and I'm like, I don't see anything like it. So thanks for clearing that up. That's awesome. And then the next scene was shot right here and it's Selby and Lee sitting down drinking again and Lee is telling Selby about her interview and I believe that shot right here. So this is right about where they were sitting right here so kind of cool to be sitting in the same spot that Charlie Steer was sitting and Selby I believe was on this side but this is right about it. Um, so cool. The thing for this round is things associated with brands. And 
And then the third scene opens up outside at night and you'll see the bar from the outside. And then it cuts to Tom and Lee talking at the bar. And I believe they were actually sitting. We're gonna try and get out of here before the end of the week. Looks good. I'm proud of you. Yes, I just wanted to say goodbye to you, Tom. You've been real good to me. For me, I feel like that scene was probably taken from this side over here. So the angle was probably right there. And then you could notice that bar sign and neon lights behind them. So they were probably right over here sitting. And they're just kind of talking about life and stuff. Okay, so at some point, Lee walks out and she starts walking and you actually see her walking this way and you'll notice some cars parked behind her on the left hand side so they cut to the scene out here and she's walking at night and after that scene it cuts right back to the bar so we'll make it back inside I'm sorry so loud and it cuts right back to Tom and he's kind of standing looking at the television I believe he's standing I have to look again. Okay, so like I was saying before, that scene, I believe, shot from over here. And he was sitting over here. Once Lee leaves, you can see him standing right here. And he's looking at the television. So I'm guessing the TV was probably in that corner somewhere. And behind him, you can see the door. And unfortunately, the door is open right now. But in the movie, is closed. And you can see the last resort bar on it which you can see the <laughs> and then resort right there uh, but yeah you can see it when the door is closed and tom is standing right here and then the very last scene that shot here was shot right behind me and there was a payphone right there and it looks like she was trying to use the phone but she's kind of stumbling so you never actually see her on the phone. She's just like kind of standing next to it. And then she goes inside the bar. Okay, so this is about the angle that you see when she's out here trying to use the phone. And I know that a lot of these have changed over the years, but the few that I noticed in the shot is Daddy-O. You can see Larry here, Kathy, this pan head. Ron, and I think that's the ones that I noticed the most. But yeah, so she's out here and then she walks inside the bar. Okay, and then the last scene is when Lee comes back in and she sits back at the bar and those two guys come on each side of her and start talking with her. And all those shots are done really up close so it's um, really close-up shots of them and they're sitting here and they're talking to her, trying to get her to go outside. At some point, I feel like you see this light right here and, and something else. You can see the whole bar right here. So, and then you see this light right here. So as she's sitting with those two guys, Tom comes back in and tells her to come outside for a chat. And it took a little convincing, but eventually they go outside and they have a chat, which is out in the back here. So we're thinking, I was talking to one of the ladies that works here and that the scene that shot outside could have been shot over here. There is a time in the scene where you can notice a kind of like a yellow building in the background and there is some kind of a building back there, you see it? The only thing is that you can't see a tree. You can't see any trees actually in that shot. So that was the confusion for us is like, wait, you don't really see any trees. There was a tent set out and there's a lot of tents that kind of look like it here, but it was a yellow and white tent. I'm sure that tent is long gone. It was probably from the movie crew, but anyways, it shot somewhere out here. So I just want to show you guys what this area looks like out here. Okay. Um, the very next scene is then back inside of the bar and you see her at the jukebox. 
which was placed right here in this corner right here. And I believe the angle is about here because you can see the window. You can read that it says the last resort bar, which is still there. You can still see it. See, see how it says the, there's resort, uh, there is last. <laughs> and so I'm guessing bar is underneath that where you can't really see it. Um, yeah, I think you can see all of this here, even the color, right? What color is that? Oh, that orange? Yeah, I think you can even see that line of orange in the shot too. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see most of these things. And check this out. I think I mentioned that this is where Eileen was arrested. This is where she was having her last drink and was arrested right outside the bar right over here. But yeah, there's a picture of Eileen and Charlie side by side. It's crazy. Look, there's a picture of the bar, what it used to look like back then from the outside. It looked a little different. Awesome. Okay, so the next scene shots outside. So I'll take you outside and run that scene with you guys. So the very last scene shot out here. And when they open the door, the two guys are with Lee. You can actually read the last resort bar. You can see it's covered up, but you can actually see the last resort bar. And they go down the stairs and they're walking with her. Oops, sorry. They're walking with her and they're kind of making her walk without her noticing that the cops are going to be right behind her at some point. So they're kind of tricking her and they're talking to her. They're both standing here. And as they get to right up here, right this line right here, is when the cops showed up behind her and they arrest her. She's like, what the hell, man? So that all shot right here. You can see her foot is right before this line right here. There's some bicycles parked out here, the cop car and everything. But this is the shot that you get. And then eventually the camera goes up and you get like a wide angle shot of everything. Um, which unfortunately I don't have a drone to show you that the exact same way, but yeah, the, it ends with the camera upward. So something like that. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys, I showed you guys last time was these street signs over here. And you can see Charlie's, they added, well, first you got the last resort. Then you can see Charlie circle monster and p jenkins that is the director of the film so that's kind of cool that they did that another thing i forgot to show you guys was that mural that someone made so i'm gonna head back over there and show you guys that mural okay so here's that mural that they showed me last time and i was so confused when he was showing it to me in the video but this was made by a guy named teddy bear and as you can see it has her name on it and these are all the victims right here um, and that's when the murder sprees were from 1989 to 1990, I think that's when it was. And that's all their names right there and their age, where they were from. So, very sad. Also known as Lee, they call her Lee, Susan Lynn, Camille. I didn't even look at all this last time. Her birth name was Eileen Carol Pittman. Oh, I didn't know that. And her last meal, oh, I think in $20 it says she was given a cup of coffee. Oh my God, I didn't know that. And there's actually a picture of her right there. All right, so I'll make sure that I point that's out the, the sign. That's the original sign. The original sign of the motel where Eileen Warnos used to stay, which is located down the street and it's called Scoot Inn now which I showed you guys in my last video. I don't think I'm gonna go this time, but that she is the original the sign. The first bridge. Sorry? This is where she threw the gun in, the first Oh, bridge. and also he's saying that the bridge where she threw the gun is also down the street. So I'll take you guys to the bridge next. All right, thank you. Okay, so at this bridge, 
This is the real bridge where Eileen Warnos threw her gun. And this is where they found the gun. And I was wondering also if this was the same bridge that they used in the movie, but it's not. Because by the looks of the water and everything, as you can see in that scene, that is definitely not the same location. So, just wanted to show you guys the bridge, but it's not, it's not the same location as the movie. Hey guys, well, this concludes this video. Um, what can I say? This was actually really fun this time because it wasn't too fun the first time because I couldn't find some of the locations and that's always frustrating when you're just like, oh, I can't find the locations. But I really hope that you guys like this video. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about my friendship bracelet. So I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert and I've been making friendship bracelets and I thought I would make one for my channel. I haven't finished it though, so I only have Leslie Love film and then I'm gonna make locations. <laughs> but I thought it'd be really cute as a giveaway. You know, if I ever make it to like 5K or 10K, something like that, I thought it'd be a cute giveaway. Anyway, yo, I wanna thank a few people again. I wanna thank uh, Matthew. I wanna thank Artie. I wanna thank uh, Tony at Semron Skateway if there's any chance that you guys see this video. Um, thank you so much for helping me out, for letting me come to the, uh, the skating rink in between shifts so that I can get some, you know, good pictures. So, um, yeah, thank you so much. I really hope you guys like this video. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Bye!